let's create Numorphism text effect in Adobe Illustrator. I have kept my document size to 1920 by 1080 pixels with a resolution of 300. Here we have a color palette for this video. We'll make a duplicate of this by holding Alt and drag it down. We'll change the color by going in the color picker and set it to white. Now select both these color swatches and go in Object, Blend, Blend Options, and set the spacing to specified steps and set the value to 1 and click on OK. Now again, go in Object, Blend, and click on Make. As you can see, we'll get the middle shade by doing this. Now let's select the Rectangle tool and create a background. Now select the Eyedropper tool and select the middle color. Once the color is applied, switch back to Selection tool and go in Layers panel to lock your background layer so we don't move it by mistake while working. Now select the Type tool and type the word you want to use. For the font, we will be using Monday Font. We'll set the font size to 500. Now let's go in Window, Align, and we'll get the Align panel. Make sure Align to Artboard is enabled. Now let's align it to the center. Now again, go in Window, Appearance. We'll get a panel like this. In this panel, double-click on Character and set the Fill to None. Then double-click on No Appearance. Now click on Add New Fill, then get the Eyedropper tool and select the middle color. After this, click on this icon and set the color to white. Click on the FX icon and select Distort and Transform, then click on Transform. And we'll get this Transform panel, set the Move Horizontal, and move Vertical to minus 6 pixels and click on OK. Now once again, click on FX, Blur, Gaussian Blur, and set the value to 6 pixels. Now duplicate this fill layer by clicking this icon. Now select the bottom fill layer and change the color using eyedropper tool to the first color. Now click on the arrow and click on transform and remove the minus sign from both horizontal and vertical and click on OK. Now select the selection tool and right click on the text and select create outlines. Make sure it is center aligned. Now we'll make a duplicate of this text by holding Alt and drag. Now select the text and in the properties panel scroll down till you see Pathfinder. Click on the Unite icon and then set the fill to black. Now select the Ellipse tool and hold Shift and drag to create a circle. Make a few duplicates and place them randomly over the text. Now select the circles and give them different colors from your color palette. Now select the circles and right click and group them. Now select the text and bring it in front by pressing Control plus Shift plus close square bracket. Now select the circles and text and press Control plus 7 to create a clipping mask. Now select this and center align it. Set the opacity to 50%. And we are done. Hope you liked the tutorial. Hope you got to learn something new. Thanks for watching. See you in the next tutorial.